Yeah, I've been asked to uh, just give a bit of more detail about the uh, the K200, and this is the interior of it. Now, the other day, about a week ago, I got in the truck and I found this steering wheel, pearl steering wheel. Now, I don't know where they come from. They're custom made, I guess, but uh, they do get a bit bright when you. Uh, when the sun shines on it but not your standard steering wheel and they do look a bit uh, different now they're not too bad they're, uh, they're quite easy to hold they're not real slippery so they're not a, not a bad wheel it's just a standard wheel just they've uh, just done the outside in the uh, in the pearl the centers the same or everything else is the same it's just a standard Kenworth steering wheel. Uh, one of the good things I do like about these is if you've got a stick shift, these actually got a little button on the front of them that you pull up and uh, they actually fold out the way. So that's a, uh, a great idea to get in there out the seat so you're not fighting with a, a stick in the way. Uh, standard gauges. Your, all your oil pressures and uh, temperature gauges that's uh, pretty standard just some will come with less gauges depends what you want I guess um, other than that that's probably the interior there is plenty of space there is a uh, I'll move the some of the things out the way still got to do that <laughs> things you take with you and down here we've got another storage cabinet slide out drawer you can't reach it when you're driving of course um, the good thing about when you've got the ones with double bed not the singles is there is a uh, move the stick out the way I usually put my log books down there in a uh, in a like a uh, bag for computers so there's fit in there and all my paperwork goes in there it's a refrigerator fridge freezer it does turn up for the probably doesn't freeze it ha I have frozen some drinks in there but uh, not too much in there at the moment but uh, that's easy to get to if you drive you just want to grab a drink just slide it out and and away you go um, this is all USBs there if you need to usually run that with the radio music um, two charging points it's supposed to be cigarette lighters I guess but uh, I don't use them as cigarette lighters and I don't actually know if it actually come with one but uh, it probably has one somewhere I just haven't found it. it might be up here in this storage compartment up here there's some uh, odds and ends up there so I know there's a ashtray that fits in one of these cup holders so that's the inside of the truck the standard everything that comes with it standard radio you got the 40 80 channel UHFs now don't use them use one channel usually and probably two when you go into calling up uh, you're going into a, a depot you usually got the yard trucks on certain channels so that'll be uh, all that's used for normally stays on 40 if I'm on the highway so there is plenty of space you can stand up in these as you can see this I'm five foot seven and uh, I just popped the light five foot seven and I have plenty of space here stand up you can even move a little bit forward as well so there's plenty of room bit of space on the you know to stand up in so you can actually get dressed and stretch for a while if you need to sometimes you need to do that uh, the TV runs through the stereo speakers that's the way that's set up it's uh, it's not too bad so I'll say I got a, uh, a USB on that for watching movies I can 
download shows and put them on a USB. The only thing about Kenworth is I don't know why they put these windows in the top because we've actually got, although that one's moved, we actually cover those to stop the heat coming through. And I actually work with a company that never even had the, the covers over them. So you can imagine the heat coming through those top windows. It's really hot up there now. And it's only about 26 degrees at the moment. My wife likes to collect these little trees. It's not a bad smell, that one. It's quite good, the black ice. So the heat coming through these, so we cover them. This one needs a, probably a bigger cover just to keep a bit of the heat out. So that's pretty standard. Actually, just recently put an air ride seat in for my wife. She had a, she had a, uh, a fixed seat. So now it's got an air ride seat in it. So there is a quite a bit of room. Better than the uh, we had did have a single bed one when the old uh, 104s. So that was a little bit cramped, but you did have that little piece that used to, uh, the vinyl piece that used to run across the front of it. So we used to utilize that quite a bit. Um, now there's a lot more space to sleep. We don't use all the storage. If you're away for periods of the time, I guess you would. You would uh, probably fill them all up, especially with clothing and things like that, so. So that's the inside. I'll just give you a bit of a uh, a closer look at this steering wheel. I don't know if you can see that truck going out over there. That bright green one. I noticed it when I come in. I think it glows in the dark, that one. I don't think I've seen one that colour before, but... I guess it's not too bad. We should be able to find it in a car park with a lot of trucks. And that's a, uh, if you can see that one over there, it's a McGregor's K200. All polished up. A lot of work polishing fuel tanks. I have done it. And bull bars, so. I'll just give you a look at the back of the truck. Um, yeah, we've got storage on both sides. Cupboards there, cupboards up the top. And there's also some back here along the back wall. The three cabinets there to uh, to store things. Uh, TV. It doesn't come standard, of course. It's been uh, custom built with the vinyl around it. I uh, got a uh, air conditioning system, and it's a custom air system, keeping the bunk cool, which you've probably heard of. And it's not quite a double bed, but it's just about. So that's the. Uh, that's the back of the truck. There's not too much there. Um, at the front, we've got another storage cabinet up here, in the front here. And a little pocket up here, where you can store. I just put my safety vest up there. Um, some charges, things like that. Bit of storage over this side as well. Easy to get to, so there's plenty of storage. Now, just move these pillows out of the way. This is a, uh, it's where we start the uh, ice pack. It just starts by itself. You just run it. Uh, there's the fan options. It's on high, medium, low, and off. 
put it on medium to start off and some USB ports in here as well and light for the sleeper so there's a clock there don't use it a couple other little lights up here but uh, that's pretty standard that uh, air will start up soon and uh, start cooling the truck down we hope uh, got better curtains than the old ones now they're a little bit softer uh, also curtains that go all the way around the front now which I uh, think that's a great idea they got tracks that run all the way around the front of the truck curtains on both sides which join up so that's a uh, a great idea that they've come out with about time um, never used to have them before I still put the uh, sunblock to uh, stop the sun a bit because they do get hot in these trucks just blocks it out a little bit so that's the uh, that's the interior